Welcome back. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the problem you have on a board. We're going to uh, uh, design a tension member in steel design. So we want to find out the uh, uh, strength of this uh, double angle and uh, connect it to a, a 3 8 inch thick uh, gusset plate. And uh, the uh, connection has about uh, seven different holes and uh, the uh, our 3 quarter inch uh, diameter bolt. So uh, uh, let's uh, get to work and uh, we have our uh, 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 dead load of 40 kips and life load of 120 kips. So uh, 1, 7 and 1, 15, we get all the information that we require. For L4 by 4 by and a half, we have X bar is equal to 118. And then for double angle, 4 by 4 by 1 half, with the spacing between them 3 8 inch, uh, we have uh, AG a equal 7.5 inch square. Ry equal 1.83 and Rx is equal 1.2. And of course, we have a dead load both 40 and 140 kips dead load, life load 120. Remember, this is a A36 steel, and uh, FU is a uh, uh, 50K KSI. So, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to calculate the load both in load resistant, uh, load and resistant factor design and uh, allowable stress design. So, uh, let's get to work. Um, if we, uh, for the load combination to calculating the load, we look at the ASC 07 or IBC, and we have a multiple load combination. The load combination that will win is load combination number two. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, it's going to be equal 1.2 time dead load, which is 40 kips, and plus 1.6 time life load, which is 120. And that comes out to uh, 240 kips. Now, for ASD, we just basically, we combine both load. We don't have any, uh, we're not going to factor it. And that's going to be basically 140 plus 120. That is 160 kips. So the next thing we're going to calculate is uh, nominal strength. We can calculate it using equation, or we can just simply go to table 5A. Uh, uh, and you can see on the board. Let's just do it so we can get the same answer. PN is basically is equal uh, AG, which came out to be 7.5. And, and if you multiply that by... Uh, uh, FY, which is 36, and you're going to end up with uh, 170. And 270. This is the uh, nominal strength, the capacity, load capacity that that double angle can take without factor of safety. So the factor of safety we're going to apply is going to be phi times PN, which is 0 0.9 times uh, 270, multiply, and that comes out to 243 kips. And if you look at the table right there, let me pull it up, and uh, from the table you can see it has uh, 243 for LRFRD. And uh, for uh, uh, ASD, it's going to be basically uh, uh, PN divided by omega. We can pick the number from the table, or we can just go ahead and uh, um, do the multiplication, which would be 270 divided by 1.67, and that should come out to uh, 162 kip. If you take a look at uh, table 5A, our concern is yielding and rupture. And in that table, they gave you the basically the uh, 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 the capacity, the nominal strength with the safety factor of both uh, in ASD and load resistant factor, which we calculate. We can pick it up from the table. It came out 243, or we can just go ahead and write it out 243. This is the capacity that. With this fa uh, with the uh, f uh, factor of safety or, or resistance factor uh, of the material, and we want this be more than 
the applied load. So we're going to look at that. It says, okay, that is more than 240, so we okay. Not by much, though. We're pretty close. Same thing here. This better be more than uh, applied load, which is we just made it. The next thing we're going to look at is now we're going to go to tensional rupture. We did with the yielding. For a tensional rupture, there's a, a few things we got to consider here. So if you look at the chapter D of the AICE, AISC, and uh, uh, section D2 and section D3, we want to first calculate U. And uh, when you're looking at that, that table, we can see that uh, in uh, both case 2 and case 8, will apply. Uh, and that is from a table of D3. And also, you uh, should not be less than the ratio of the gross area of the connected element uh, to the uh, uh, gross cross-sectional area of the member. And half of the member is connected. Therefore, we can say the minimum U should be 0 0.5. We're going to look at the case 2. And we have the equation uh, U is equal to uh, uh, 1 uh, minus x bar divided by L. Now, L is the uh, length of the uh, connection. L is length of our connection. So now we're going to have E, which is this U equal uh, 1 minus x bar came out to be 118. And length of our connection, it came out to be uh, 21 inches because there's a 7 of them, 7 times 3 is 21 inches. 21 inches. So therefore, our U is going to come out to uh, uh, 0.944. Now, when we look at that, but we're going to go double check case 8, that table. In case 8, if you to read it, it says uh, 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 4 or more fastener per line of the direction of loading. And because we have that, so our U is going to come out to 0.8. Now, we have... Uh, one came out to 0.994, one came out to 0.8. The bigger one controls, so we're going to say, okay, U is equal to 0.944. Now we have uh, to calculate AE, we're going to calculate AN first. So our AN is going to be uh, AG minus um, two, there's two of them, so it's going to be uh, D. H plus one sixteenth, and then that's going to be multiplied by the thickness. So uh, we have A N equal. Um, it was seven and a half minus two time and D H. Did I wrote it down here? No, I didn't. D H is uh, thirteen over sixteen. And 13 over 16 plus 1 sixteenths. And that makes it 1 inch. And the thickness came out to be uh, half inch. So that will give us uh, A and comes out to 6.63 uh, inch square. So now we have that. And uh, the next thing we're going to have is. Uh, We're going to calculate the, uh, the AE and uh, per section D3. So our AE comes out to be AN multiplied by U, so which is equal to 6.63 times uh, 0.944. And that will give us 6.26 uh, inch squared. So we calculate the rupture for PN, which is going to be a PN is equal AE time uh, FU, which when our AE came out to 626, 6.26 times 58 KSI, and that came out to be uh, 363 kips. So our PN, which is a capacity of the... Uh, this double angle for the rupture without any um, factor safety is 363. 
So now we're going to go ahead and put the factor safety back into it. And remember, for rupture, we have uh, phi time P n is equal, phi is a 0.75. So we're going to say 0.75 times 200, 363. And that will give me um, 272 kips, 272 kips. And then for uh, um, ASD, it's going to be uh, P n divided by omega, which is 363. And for rupture, the omega is equal to, so that comes out to 100 and, uh, eight, 182 kips. Yeah, 182 kip. Now, pay attention here. Here's the interesting part of it is. We went, used table 5A, we picked out those numbers. And when we calculated, the number was the same as the table 5A. But this number is different. Why? Because if you look at the table, take a look at the table, and the table says uh, the uh, um, AAE, let me write this down, I'll bring it down the table for you, um, right there. The table says AE is equal to 0.75 AG, but we calculated AE came out to uh, uh, 6.262, which is bigger than that. And 0.75 AG, that comes out to, uh, let's just calculate that, say what it comes out to, 0.75 time uh, AG, AG, 7.5, 7.5, and that comes out to 62. So, or AE basically come out bigger than uh, 0.75 time AG. You, so we said, okay, our uh, strength is going to become 272, which better be bigger than uh, low, which is 240, and which better be bigger than uh, 160, which we still weigh a lot higher. But if we go use the table, you want to be conservative about it, you still can use the table, which is a lower number, and the table gives you a uh, uh, the table gives you half inch uh, 243 and uh, 163. 243 and 163, which is still bigger than that. And But we can tell that this is closer, so this basically control the tension, the yield and control, not the rupture. Last thing we're going to check uh, per uh, uh, section D4. We want to make sure our L over our X is less than 300. So our L came out to be um, uh, 25. So multiply that by 12. 25 times 12. Divide that by uh, our X came out to be uh, 1.2. 1.2 and uh, the uh, L comes out to uh, 248, and which is less than 300. We check out. That's it.